what's up you guys my name is Maddie welcome to or welcome back to my channel I'm doing a pack with me video um, because I'm flying out to Hawaii tomorrow um, and I think I'm gonna split this video into two parts so if you're watching this it might be part two not really sure might still be one video but we'll see um, I am currently sitting out on my front porch and doing a little bit of journaling and I'm about to read my Bible um, I am so excited to fly out tomorrow. I have to be at my dad's apartment at 6.30 in the morning, so I'm going to try to go to bed early. Um, there's a six hour time difference in Hawaii, so I think there's, there's also a three hour time difference when I go to Arizona or four, not really sure, but I'm just journaling and, um, one of the things that I'm like writing down is like, Lord, I'm so expectant. One thing I'm just thinking about is like, how beneficial and how rewarding would it be if I were to position my heart to where I'm always expectant and excited to see what the Lord's gonna do rather than just going on with my day and like living my life as if this is my life to live. You know what I'm saying? Like I just feel like the more emphasis we put on his control and like his ultimate authority over our lives, the more you don't have to carry around that weight and that stress of being like, oh my gosh, like I have all these decisions, I have all these choices, like this is my summer that I'm spending in Hawaii. And instead change it to be like, okay, Lord, this is my time that I'm gonna give to you and I want you to bless it in any way that you want to and I'm just gonna be ready for whatever you choose to do in my heart and in my life and in hopefully my impact on these people that I'm working with. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now and praying over it, just like, Give me an expectant heart. Allow my heart to be willing and open and excited. And I just want to be ready. And I just want to take my best foot forward on this trip. And I'm really excited. But I'm going to read a little bit of my Bible. And then I think I'm going to go inside and start actually putting my clothes in my bags. Hey, shoddies. I'm in my room. I'm going to go open my blinds on my other side. So I have some natural lighting in here. I'm in such a good mood today. I don't know why. I think I'm just like so excited that I'm just like so happy. So, gonna be positive today. Um, I need to go get my laundry from downstairs and start um, bringing that upstairs so I can figure out what I am bringing and what I'm not bringing. Um, and then I'm gonna start figuring out what I'm gonna wear to the airport tomorrow because like I said earlier, once I know what I'm wearing, then I can figure out what shoes I can pack and what shoes I don't have to pack. Um, one of my things that I try to do when I'm traveling is I usually wear like, sometimes if it's cold outside, I'll wear like a sweatshirt and sweatpants, but since I'm flying into Hawaii, I'm gonna wear shorts and a tank top, probably with a sweatshirt over top so that I'm able to wear something that like would take up space and usually sweatshirts take up a lot of space. So I'm gonna do that. I know that's not a revolutionary idea. I don't know why I'm like teaching you guys that because you probably already know that that's like a good idea. Um, but yeah, gonna go get my laundry and then start putting everything in my bags. I was talking to my dad about my two suitcase situation and he said that it's good to have more space rather than less space. So I was thinking about even just bringing one, like the huge suitcase, I'll show you guys. I was thinking about just bringing um, this one suitcase um, because I can fit everything right now like I showed you guys earlier. I have one pillow and then my two bath towels and then my beach towel um, and then here's my other suitcase. But I was like I can probably fit all of this into this suitcase. But I'd rather be safe than sorry and I'll probably buy a lot of souvenirs and little things. Plus I'm going to have to be bringing back my sleeping bag and all those things that I shipped already to the camp. So I'm just going to probably bring both of them. Okay, everybody, update. I have figured out my airport outfit. I don't know why it took me so long. It literally took me so long to figure it out. I'm just gonna wear these fun shorts that I thrifted just because they're super comfortable. And then either this black tank top so I can like take it off once I get there because it's gonna be like 80 degrees in Oahu. Um, and then just this little like purple sweatshirt thing that I can put on and it goes kind of off the shoulders and it's just cute I like looking put together at the airport. It just makes me feel more confident in my decision-making um, Which often stresses me out. So that is the outfit now I can stop stressing about that which is so stupid But I'm going to start putting all my clothes in the suitcases What if I wake up happy, and what if I wake up sad? Sorry if I said something, something that made you mad. Wishing that I could call you. Sorry. 
Boy, my service bad My bad When I wake up, you're not next to me Guess I'm missing all your energy That's all I want That's all I want Promise I am not your enemy I just need another memory That's all I want Cause all I want is you Okay, I wanted to try this dress on um, this is the dress that I showed you guys in my last video or earlier in this video, but I think it's fun and cute Like very Hawaii vibes. I'm gonna bring it to the full-length mirror so I can show you guys. Okay, here it is Like look at the fun little sleeves So cute I'd wear a different bra with it, but so cute very appropriate It's long I look like a teacher, but in a good way. I don't know why I almost donated this because I would honestly wear this to class. Like, I should bring this to school. Like, it's cute. It's flattering. It's fun. My favorite part are the sleeves. But, yeah. So, I have my Aloha dress. I think I'm using the right um, phrasing. But, so cute. Here is my update. I've been trying to be very self-disciplined about sweatshirts. Um, so, I have this sweatshirt, this sweatshirt, this sweater, um, the purple sweatshirt that I'm wearing on the plane tomorrow, and then I believe that's all the sweatshirts, and then I have fun pants, jeans, I only packed two pairs of jeans, fun pants, just some like cutesy little tops because I um, am not going to be working my last week, so I want to be able to like wear cute clothes. And then that's pretty much all that I have in here. I filled this to the brim of like clothes. Um, underwear, bras, socks in here. Um, and then this one, like I showed you guys earlier, pillow, bath towels, beach towel, my Eno. Um, these are my like um, plastic Crocs. And then these are my, what am I saying? Not plastic Crocs. These are my, um, these are my plastic Burks, my real Burks, and then my tennis shoes are outside drying. I just washed them in the washing machine. I'm going to leave this bag mostly empty um, because I am going to have to bring my sleeping bag home. And then just like, I know I'm going to get a bunch of souvenirs, so I want to leave this bag mostly empty. This bag is full though. And yeah, right now I'm just packing toiletries. Okay, this is something really little, um, but it's making me so excited. So I wrote like dates, like I looked up this like middle date calculator and I put June 7th through July 5th because that's the first half of camp and then this is the second half and I'm so excited to get these developed and take pictures with them. I've never done a disposable myself. My friends have them and it's just like really trendy um, and we'll see how this goes. I'm thinking about purchasing a film camera though because I just feel like it's a good investment and these are super wasteful um, but I am excited to bring these to Hawaii. I think this these will be super fun. Hey shoddies, I spilled um, a smoothie on my white tank top. So that's currently drying right now um, but as far as updates go, I sat on my front porch for my last little bit on my front porch because I'm leaving um, and that's like my favorite spot so I'm gonna miss it a lot um, but I'm up in my room obviously again um, I did that load of laundry with my white tank top. My tennis shoes are now dry, so I'm gonna put those in. And I'm just doing a little bit of like final touches right now um, in terms of like makeup and I need a shower and then after that I can pack my blow dryer and straightener, that sort of stuff. Um, I'll probably put that in my big bag that's mostly empty. And just like little things, I'm packing my backpack right now. Um, so the things that are gonna go in there are mostly like my um, electronics and like books and such. So I'll have my laptop, my camera, all of my chargers, um, a few books, my disposable cameras, my portable charger. And also one thing that I realized would be a, probably a really good idea to bring is my um, Apple Watch, which I never really use, but it will be really good to like be able to tell the time because I won't have my phone during the week except for during my break but yeah that is my update trying to get everything is situated and I'm going down a list on my phone as I pack which has been really helpful and I keep like adding to it which is really good I feel like I'm relatively organized it's only like 4 44 right now um so it's like five and I'm like almost completely done which will be so nice because I have debated if I want to go to bed early or not because I was talking to my dad and he was like, Maddie, you might honestly want to stay up late so that you're really tired on the plane and that you can sleep on the plane so that you'll be like wide awake once you get there. But I don't know because I kind of want to go to bed early so that I get sleep now. 
I'll probably do that because sleeping on a plane is very hit or miss for me. Like sometimes I can fall asleep really well on the plane and then other times I'm like so wide awake because I'm so excited, which will probably be the case. Um, but yeah, doing final touches right now. Um, not final touches, but doing like littler things right now, so. Hey everybody, if you hear loud noises, can y'all hear the rain? Yeah, super loud rain right now. Um, I am going to take a break because I'm almost completely packed aside from my makeup, um, some little toiletries that I have to use before I go, blow dryer, straightener, all those types of things. I'm gonna give you guys a little update. I literally have my Apple Watch plugged in right here and then my melatonin gummy. Like I put one out of the box <laughs> so I'd be able to sleep with it and pack the rest. Um, but I will give you guys an update on the packing. This bag is pretty much completely done. After I shower, I'm going to wheel this downstairs. And if it stops raining, I will put it in my trunk. Super stuffed. I hope it doesn't go over the weight limit. If it does, I'll be embarrassed. Um, and then this one is mostly empty. It looks full, but it's really not that full. And then backpack. I have the books that I'm bringing. Like I said, I just got this book and I'm excited to read it. My journal, my Bible. Um, this book that I'm still reading right now. And then I found this under my bed. Daisy Jones and the Six. I've heard it's really good. And I didn't know that I had it. So, yeah. Then I have all my little like electronics plugged in right here. Umbrella. My water bottle is in the washing machine right now so I can get it super clean. But yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff. I need to, oh, that reminds me, I need to go get a laundry bag from downstairs. And then I'll pack, I think I'm going to bring this bag for like a beach bag and then this bag because it's super fun and cute. And I'll just put this one in the bigger one. Um, actually, fun fact, all my friends hate this bag, but I really like it. I think it's fun. Um, so yeah, that is your little update. I'm gonna go take a shower. Okay, after sitting and looking at my fridge for a moment, I've decided that I'm gonna go get Chipotle. Um, I'm gonna treat myself. Look at my hair also. I look so strange. Um, so I'm gonna run upstairs. The only problem with packing shoes is I usually wear my Burks whenever I run out and like go grab something super quick. So now I need to get them out of my out why did i sound so southern <laughs> i need to get them out of my suitcase um but yeah i'm really excited now for this new development because i was about to make a chicken salad sandwich which is delicious but not what i'm craving because i want chipotle does a flower in the shade ever feel a little jealousy does it ever go away all i want is you to answer me right now just dance with me right now just dance with me right now When I wake up, you're not next to me Guess I'm missing all your energy That's all I want That's all I want Promise I am not your enemy I just need another memory That's all I want Okay guys, I just have this one remaining bag that I need to put my straightener and blow dryer in I'm thinking about bringing an extra blanket just because I'm a little scared that my sleeping bag is going to get there. And I know I'm being paranoid because it's supposed to be there by 8. Um, but it's 8 p.m. their time. And it's only like 3 p.m. their time right now. And it is 9 here. So I'm going to check the status of it in the morning. Um, see if it's been delivered. And if it hasn't, then I will pack an extra blanket. But if it has, I'll hold off. But yeah, here's all the stuff that I need to pack in the morning. I have my backpack, my umbrella, water bottle, um, books, journal, Bible, bags, camera, laptop, and then my makeup is in the bathroom. But I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was somehow entertaining. I love you guys, and I'm so excited for you guys to see my videos when I'm in Hawaii. Um, hopefully, I can post every week. But I love you guys, and Jesus loves you. And make sure to like and subscribe, comment down below, video requests, turn my post notifications on if y'all want to get notified every time I post a new video. And yeah, bye. Drum rolls, yeah, I got